Hi friends, this is Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, if you haven't, welcome to my channel. Today is Tuesday, January 2nd of 2024. Um, as you can see, I've not really done so hot uh, as far as my um, weight loss, working off the weight goals go. I actually gained, I think like four point something pounds, four or five pounds uh, since the very beginning of last year. So that sucks. <laughs> but I mean, on the one hand, it's like, well, I didn't gain a lot and it'll be relatively easy to work off. But on the other hand, I gained and I didn't work off fucking anything. So and it, please excuse my language. I try not to curse too much in my videos, but sometimes I feel the need. So anyway, right now, um, I am in the process of getting my dishes done. My sister and I let them go for like a really long time. And now there are a ton of dishes to do. Um, about half less than what there was because my sister, well, well, maybe a little more than half. I don't know, but my sister did some the other day. Uh, and then I have been doing them for the last almost two hours um, with like some really short little like bathroom breaks in between. I'm getting ready to actually take a break right now. Um, and just, uh, hit that. Um, yes, that is a couch cushion that you see in my kitchen. Um, so <laughs> there's a reason behind that, but I won't get into all that because it, it further reflects the procrastinator in me. So anyway, I am, um, as of today, 281.0 pounds. That is how much I weigh. And obviously, you can tell that I've, God, I've really gained. Um, it is unfortunate because like three or four years ago, at this point, you know, um, about the time that I started my channel, I was the, like in the best shape that I've ever been. So like the first couple, I want to say the first couple months of me starting my channel, um, I was, uh, I had really great habits. Um, I was being consistent and, um, and I had a lot more positivity, but I mean, maybe that was partially because, you know, I was living and practicing what I was kind of preaching, um, and kind of like, I mean, in a sense, just encouraging whenever I was making my videos and stuff back then. So now here I am, I am now 37 years old and I am at 281.0. Um, at one point in, within the last year, I got up to like 285.2, I think it was. So that was actually just over my highest, what I, what I know for sure. So, um, like just over, like, I think it was like 285.0 was the highest that I've ever weighed to my knowledge. Um, that has been, you know, like known, like I got on the scale and I actually, found that out. So, so then sometime this year I broke that record and that's not a good record to break as all of you who have ever tried to do what I'm doing or even in the process of doing what I'm doing. No, you don't ever want to break your highest weight record. Um, if you're trying to work it off and you're trying to be healthy, uh, if you are on the other hand, trying to gain weight by building muscle, that's a good thing. But a lot of us know that that's not where I'm at right now. So, um, so anyway, uh, I am going into the new year with some positivity. Um, and again, you know, I'm trying to get these dishes done The it's kind of a little bit, I don't know if irony is the right word, but it's a little bit ironic that, uh, this evening, my sister and I are actually planning on making cookies for our work. Unfortunately, we were going to do this before or around Christmas. Um, I had a four day weekend for Christmas, which was awesome. I'm so thankful that I have a job that does that. And I have a four day weekend for the new year. And this is the last day of that weekend. So anyway, um, Shelly and I were going to do cookies last weekend, but we got COVID. That's the short version. Uh, kind of, I got COVID and I tested positive for COVID. Like I got the symptoms, they kind of hit me hard. And then, um, they were, decent after like the first full day or two and it but that first full day or two was like really rough so anyway I digress um Shelly had the same symptoms hit her really hard I want to say like three days in hold on a second speak of the devil Shelly is actually home that was what that knock was but anyway so she got COVID um she didn't actually test 
but we were assuming that she did. So she ended up staying home for several days. Um, and then, so we didn't get the cookies made out of safety for, you know, our people. Um, she was going to make some for her work. I was going to make some for my work. I got to do some phone calls first and then I'll come out. Okay, cool. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so anyway, so now um, it is the last day of our four-day weekend, well, my four-day weekend for the new year, and we're going to be making cookies tonight. So um, I have like 36 dozen that I need to make, give or take like one or two uh, for the people I work with because I think all together, I think all together we have 35 or 36 people working there. So not for myself. I'll be making them for everybody else, but um Shelly's got probably, I want to say roughly 10 people total, including her um, office staff that she works with. Uh, but anyway, uh, so we're looking at a little under 50 dozen cookies that we're planning on making tonight. So we'll see how this goes. It's all going to be chocolate chip. Originally, I was going to make some cookies with nuts for those who wanted them. I was going to do walnuts. And then I'm, for the people who didn't, you know, no nuts. But I, at this point, I think it just would be easier if I just did just chocolate chip cookies and everybody loves my cookies at work. So anyway, it's just funny that I'm talking about, um, making, uh, basically another new year's resolution, but I'm going to make cookies for everybody tomorrow. So anyway, um, point. Uh, so I've got two new year's resolutions that I decided on. Um, I have a journal that I write in and, uh, um, the two that I for sure decided on because they actually recently heard or read, I can't remember if it was heard or read hair, sorry, <coughs> that it is best to make a new year's resolution like one and focus on that rather than more than one. And that apparently people who make new year's resolutions do better throughout the year than people who don't. So anyway, so the two that I decided to do. I flip through my journal um, is one of them is to get my dad's estate taken care of and closed. <coughs> Sorry, asthma. Um, uh, so, and I'm very dry right now because I've been doing these dishes for a hot minute and uh, have not had a whole lot of um, beverages in between. But, uh, but the one for my dad's estate is, um, so my dad and my brother have been gone for about two years now, a little over two years, uh, because they passed away November, um, in 21. So they've been dead for about two years, uh, and a little over. And my sister and I are starting to crack down on getting his estate taken care of, which includes, but is not limited to, um, getting into the house and clearing out all of the junk, the knickknacks, the collectibles, and all that jazz. Uh, we rented a dumpster. Um, and there were some issues with that. For one, it costed over a grand to do it, which was, in our opinion, ridiculous because the last time that we did it, <coughs> which was literally right before my brother died, um, it was like $300 to rent it. So that sucked. <laughs> it was a big jump in the last couple of years, which I think if I'm not mistaken, a different company took over, but damn, those prices like skyrocketed and I'm super blessed that I actually had the money to do it. Um, but anyway, so we went this weekend, we went on Saturday and, um, it's almost full already and we only got the dining room and, um, most of my dad's bedroom cleared out. So, but I mean, that's big progress. Um, hopefully, eventually, I will uh, get some pictures up on here about what it looked like before and what it looked like after. Um, like I've told you before, my dad was a hoarder. He had a lot of junk. Um, my brother was a slob. My dad kind of kind of turned into a slob toward the end, um, probably influenced by my brother not picking up after himself to the point of throwing trash on the floor. It was just, it was a mess. So anyway, I won't get into all that, but, but there was just so much junk <clears throat> and unfortunately a lot of really cute collectible stuff that was destroyed because it was covered in dust and grime and cigarette tar, uh, cigarette smoke tar. And, um, um, they had had pets 
and those pets like made messes all over everything and you know what I'm talking about and it's just it was just a disgusting disaster so there were some nice furniture that we had to get rid of because it was not good um and I feel uh probably beyond cleaning um some of it even had mold on it you know uh but so we had to get rid of a lot of stuff it's just and I just I hate wasting. I know it was partially because of the way I was raised with like the hoarding and stuff. Um, but I'm also like a big recycler um, and reuse and reduce and everything. And throwing away like in the trash, a bunch of stuff was really hard for me. But um, but also relatively easy considering that I had to remind myself it's like it's not salvageable at this point in time. So, so anyway, um, we did that. Um, but, uh, hopefully eventually I'll be able to post those pictures. Uh, and there was that. So we've still got quite a bit to do. We have to clear out the rest of the house, which includes a, another bedroom. We have to finish dad's bedroom. Um, another bedroom, a closet that is in between this bedroom and the dining room, which is really neat because it's got like a door into the closet from the bedroom and a door into the closet from the dining room. And it's like the space between, um, and then the dining room itself, the kitchen, uh, the back porch. And then I guess we could just check the basement. I don't even know if there's anything down there at all anyway. Um, and if any of it would actually be salvageable because I bet it's covered in cobwebs. Um, there were a little bit of cobwebs when we went in, uh, this time. So, Anyway, so that's my resolution for this year. My big one is to get my dad's estate taken care of. As far as my health goes, um, I decided that to pick something realistic, and I like good solid numbers as well, I'm going to I'm going to um, work off 50 pounds this year. So 281, it would bring me down to 231, but uh, I want to say last year, not last year, I'm sorry, the two years ago whenever I was getting ready to run for St. Jude, which I have videos posted about that. Um, I want to say I was around 226-ish pounds. So I was around that weight that I'm aspiring to get to by the end of this year. Um, and so <clears throat> doing the math, it's a little under a pound every week. Um, and my goal is to work off a full pound every week. So even if I say do really well this week, and say I work off seven pounds this week. Um, next week, it will be one more pound. It, it's not going to be like, well, I'm 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 doing great. I've already lost seven. I'm you know six pounds ahead of the game, so I can relax. That is not what I'm going to do. I'm going to just try to do one more pound every week. Um, so again, I, I kind of suspect that I will work off about seven pounds this week. Um, give or take, because the last time that I weighed, which was last week, I think it was, a, I want to say about two pounds up, maybe two or three pounds up from the time before, which was about, I want to say like 276 point something. So it went like to 276 point something up to like 279 point something. And then after this weekend and the eating and everything, 281.0. Um, but it, the fact that I will be working out, um, we got rid of a bunch of junk food yesterday by giving it to my nephew for him and his roommates because we don't need it in the house. And, you know, I, we both hate wasting food and they're a bunch of young boys. Um, I say boys, they're, they're young men. They're like 18 ish, 20 something ish. Uh, but anyway, when you get to, it's funny that. You get to a certain point in your life where you start calling these young adults kids, and they're not kids. Um, but in comparison to where you're at, kids. Even there was even a Judge Judy episode, and I'm I'm getting off the subject again, but I think it's funny. Um, a Judge Judy episode where uh, she was talking to some some two people, and the um, uh, not the plaintiff. Uh, I don't think it was the plaintiff. I don't think it was the plaintiff. Um, uh, the defendant. I'm pretty sure it was the defendant. Yeah, because he was on the right. Uh, the defendant, uh, she asked him how old he was, and he was like 60-something. And she's like, oh, a baby. And he's like, I hope the ladies think so. And it was just really funny. Uh, but, 
you know, and she was like in her late seventies and it was like calling somebody a baby when they're 60 is hilarious. So anyway, um, age and time and all that is kind of relative, but, uh, I digress. So, so anyway, yes. So, um, we're going to try for, we're going to try. I want to really dedicate myself to 50 pounds this year. Um, it would be wonderful it was if it was more, if I don't quite make it, but I'm in like the 40 something range, that would be phenomenal. I'm going to celebrate whatever I accomplish this year. So if it's not a full 50, but it's close to it, I'm going to be happy. If it's 30, I'm going to be happy because 30 pounds is a lot of weight to work off. Um, if it is 70, that would be great. If I could do 82 and actually break 200 down into the 100 somethings, that would be um, beyond awesome because I've been trying to do that for years. And even when I was super healthy in the best shape of my life, like three or four years ago when I was running and everything, um, even then I never, I'd never got down underneath 200 pounds. Hi baby boy. So, um, so anyway, uh, we're looking at, um, I think it was like 206. I think I got down to 206 or 207, before I started gaining weight again. And uh, so I got really, really close, but not quite there. And that would be wonderful this year, but um, I am in the process of writing down the plan. Uh, one of them is, again, that pound a week, uh, just one. Just one pound every week is gonna be my goal. And it'll be one pound more than the last week. So it doesn't matter if, it, like I said, if it's seven pounds this week that I lose or four, it doesn't put me ahead in the sense that I don't have to work hard for it the following week. It just means that I lost some bonus pounds, um, but the following week will be one pound. So uh, again, we're looking at, um, hope, I say hopefully, but I really do want to commit to this, this 50 pounds worked off by the end of the year. I, um, I play volleyball already. Um, I, I play volleyball like uh, anywhere from two to four times a week, just depending on um, if they have it. He's just really lovely. He's always like this whenever I get to talk and he wants attention. So, um, and he's not much of a lover either UA. But um, uh, I play volleyball two to four times a week. Okay, okay, okay. Um, last week... I started getting up early at like six ish and going to the gym and just walking on the treadmill. Um, so I'm basically trying to start the way that I started when I first got serious about my health back in like 2018. Um, so I'm hoping, uh, that I like, and that's kind of like, again, you know, they talk about that being your out. I'm hoping that I'll stick with it. Um, so I went to the gym four days last week and my goal was just 20 minutes on the treadmill every day. And three out of four of those days I went over, I think twice I did 30 minutes instead of 20, um, which is great if I've got the time. But another thing that I want to do this year is I want to be more punctual because that's one of my biggest problems. So, um, there's that. I want to write in my journal. Sorry, it's just cat hair. I, I kind of wonder if I'm mildly allergic to cats. Um, but I'm never going to get rid of my babies unless it's life threatening. So, uh, anyway, so that, Hey, I am planning on writing in my journal at least once a week, even if it's for nothing more than to record my progress. Um, and then I also wanted to make a video twice a month at the very least to put on my channel because I know that I really slowed down and the reason why I really slowed down was because I was ashamed of not making any progress and actually regressing instead. So that is that. Um, so one more time, dad's estate this year. I want to get that finalized and closed and taken care of, uh, 50 pounds for the entire year, which would be roughly like just under a pound every week. Um, and then, um, I'm going to create some checkpoints for that for like quarterly and stuff. Again, cross that bridge later. Um, and then, so we got dad's estate at, um, I want to write my journal at least once a week. And I want to post online um, on YouTube, post a video at least twice a month, uh, preferably every two weeks, but 
you know, twice a month would be my goal. So that being said, um, oh, and then the, the other thing is to get my house cleaned and organized and to maintain that. And I've been in the process of that. Uh, I've gotten a lot of things rearranged. I've built some shelving things that I've ordered and um, it's looking better, but it's not where it needs to be. Uh, so working on that. Um, that's it. So my sister is patiently waiting for me to finish my video and we can get cracking on finishing these dishes and then get started on those Christmas cookies that are now in the new year. So have a lovely day. Uh, be your best self. Make good choices. Live your best life. I know it's all mixed up. I kind of don't care. I'm just, it's been a while since I've done it, but know that please encourage me as I am now encouraging you. Have a great day. Bye.